Whenever you're ready. Hey everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Player Mouse. I'm going to share with you a very frustrating day Danny and I had out on the range testing some factory loaded rounds and getting nothing but miserable results. After nearly a week of over 105 degree temperatures, it finally cooled down to about 100 degrees and I talked Danny into coming out and shoot. Since hunting season was quickly approaching, I needed to finally get to the slugs that D2Plex had sent me, some Dupo 28s and Hexalit 32s. Little did I know that because it was so hot outside, the heat would actually play a very negative effect on the slugs performance. Now it's important to note that many brands of slugs have a very similar construction as the D2Plex. It's the way we tested them and not the product itself that caused the failure. Okay, wet magazines, rifle choke, whenever you're ready. Wow. In this shot we see that the slug is flying sideways because it lost its plastic stabilizer. It was completely ripped off from the back. So maybe the slug just doesn't like a rifle choke. Okay, let's see how it does out of a full rifle Mossberg 500. Whenever you're ready. That's right where I was aiming. Again, the plastic stabilizer has been ripped from the back. There it is flying along, but the slug really didn't benefit from the uh, full rifling as it hit the magazine sideways. The blackjack. The turkey import blackjack. <laughs> It's a cylinder bore, and we'll see how it does, uh, how these things do out of a cylinder bore. Right at the top, right at the center. Dang it. With no rifling at all out of the smooth bore, the slug is still flying sideways. So maybe we got a bad batch of shells. Let's try the red Dupo 28s and see how those perform. Yep. We're going out of the Benelli with the rifle choke tube first. See how that how compatible they are. Whenever you're ready. Well, the slug is still flying sideways. We've lost the stabilizer tail. There we can see a glimpse of the gas piston, which is pretty mangled up. That's a pretty good clue there. Let's see if we see any improvement out of the full rifled barrel now. That was a headshot. Still no improvement in the ballistics. Again, we see that gas seal that's all mangled up. That's usually a sign that you have a pressure spike, that something is loaded wrong or maybe some other factor. Let's continue. Okay, break action. Dupo 28 red. Whenever you're ready. Out of so many failure shots, this one actually worked okay. Pretty accurate, and the slug hit nose first and fragmented. But it was just hit and miss. Sometimes they worked, most of the time they didn't work. And after contacting D Duplex and telling them and showing them the, my results, they didn't know what was going on. They thought maybe I mishandled the slugs or they had a bad batch of slugs. Now we were having the same issues using three different types of shotguns. The only thing that I thought was maybe it was so hot outside and the fact that the shotguns themselves were very hot just sitting in the sun, this, they were probably 150 plus degrees themselves. So I'm thinking the high heat is causing the plastic components to get soft and fail or it's possible that the heat is affecting the powder itself, causing it to burn too fast and creating these pressure spikes. Now in order to prove this theory, I needed to go back out with, with Greg and shoot a few more test shots. This time I wanted to replicate more realistic hunting conditions, not, I mean, nobody hunts in 100 degree weather that I know of. So I just cooled the slugs in a ice chest, keeping them around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll be able to find out once and for all if the heat issue was the problem. 
Hexalit 32, 10 yards, chilt test. Okay, I'm ready. Wow. <laughs> that lifted that thing right off of that block. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. As you can see, there's a huge difference. The slug was accurate. There's the gas seal. The gas seal is in perfect shape. No problem. The slug performed perfectly. Let's shoot a couple more and see if this trend continues. All right, fire! Here we go. Now in this shot, I only put the slug in the ice chest for about a minute. It probably didn't get cool enough. We can see that the gas seal is a little bit mangled up, but overall it performed okay. Okay, Dupo 28, temperature experiment. We chilled it in, in cold water. Fire! Oh, yeah. Fire! Oh, yeah. Now this Dupo 28 was chilled for quite a while. It was in there for about 10 minutes and it was cold. It performed well. The gas seal is in good shape and the performance and accuracy were outstanding. While most people don't go hunting in 100 plus degree weather, we do film in those conditions. From now on, we're going to definitely take the ambient air temperature into consideration and keep our slugs at a cool, not cold temperature, just for the sake of consistency. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.